Hello there. I am preparing for my end. Um, it's taken quite a while to get the meds that I've been wanting. Um, I'm now, you know, with hospice, I am going to start my first dose of medications, not the not the peaceful pill, <laughs> not yet, um, but the uh, I've got morphine here and I've got other things and uh, they're needed. My sleep, I don't, I can barely sleep anymore. I can barely eat anymore. I can barely drink anymore. I can't poop anymore. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. Um, yeah, this is the hard part for sure. And I can't stay warm. I can't stay warm enough. That's why I look all bundled up like it's freaking freezing outside and it's not. That's okay. I'm going to take, uh, I just took a, a nausea pill. I have to have that 30 minutes before I try these new pills. I don't know what they're called, but they're pretty potent. And, um, and the, the pharmacy that covers or handles the, um, the peaceful pill, it's not a pill, it's a solution. Uh, we spoke with them this morning and it's shipped out, um, whatever. I get it tomorrow, tomorrow late in the day. And I think, but I'll let you know, I believe I'm gonna be taking it Saturday or Sunday. I kinda just wanna do it Saturday because I just feel horrible. Um, I have found a new home for Indy, so that was pretty amazing how that all worked out. I've been having, um, I've been having these beautiful, like, celebration of life parties, three of them, <laughs> three really amazing celebration of life parties. And when I had the one at the ranch, um, an old ranch friend, she just happened to talk to one of my other ranch people and found out about me and said, well, I'll take Indy. I have a, a nonprofit horse place that she's taking care of horses. And we all, we went over there and checked it out. And these horses were all fat and happy. And that's what you look forward to. That's what you want to see when you're in like a more of a pasture retirement environment, every horse came up to say hi to the, you know, at their fence or the gate. And it was like, these horses are having a good time. And, um, they feed them very well and they treat them very well. They get groomed. They get walked all the time. They get loose in the, uh, the big arena so they can run around. So we brought them over there, uh, yesterday and it was pretty cool. It was pretty amazing. I'm like, come on in. I took him out of the trailer and, you know, it's almost like he knew. And he got put in with two other gildings, two other boy horses. And uh, it, was, it was wonderful. It was, it was made me feel good. I know he's going to be well taken care of. So, and that's one less thing that Matthew has to worry about. So I was hoping to get there today, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get there because with the meds that I'm just about to, I should have gone this morning, mm. but I wasn't feeling good. I didn't feel well this morning at all. So with these meds that I'm going to be taking this afternoon, I kind of don't want to be in the car in case they make me sick, hence the nausea pill. So I'll wait for that, see how I feel. And then if it doesn't knock out the pain, then, uh, then I start morphine. Mm. And... I hope it knocks out the pain. I hope all of them knock out the pain because this is just getting ridiculous. And the thing is, I feel so badly for those that don't have what I have, you know, this love and support and having, you know, having Matthew and Christina or whomever, they're taking care of everything because it takes so much. 
the amount of people you have to call, the amount of callbacks there are, the amount of questions there are. They're handling all of it for me, and I can't imagine anybody having to handle something like this on their own, on top of being ill, not feeling well. So, come on, healthcare system, we got to snap out of this. This is absolutely ridiculous. But we all know this. <laughs> so, anyway, I had a beautiful um, celebration of life party at the uh, office, Matthew's office yesterday. There were like 50, 60 people there. It was so amazing. <laughs> wow. It was so amazing. And I think I've seen more love than I've ever seen in my life throughout this experience, especially with these parties that I've been having. And Oh my God, I even ate a piece of cake. <laughs> there was food. There was just so much love and attention and it was just, it was amazing. But now that I'm here today and I just don't feel well and I'm gonna start all these meds, I kind of don't even wanna, I'm done. I think I've seen everybody I, I want to see or need to see and all the love and hugs and goodbyes. That's a really weird thing to say. When I say goodbye now, it's like, I'm saying goodbye. That's weird. But it's, it is until I see you again <laughs> in another, another place. I can't even breathe anymore. My lungs are all, yeah, whatever. So I'll keep you all informed as to what I'm going through via a vlog because I don't think I'm going to have visitors anymore not not really I'm the kids but I'm I'm just I'm hurting <laughs> it's like it's getting worse and worse every day <laughs> um so I just want to say I love you I love me I will be vlogging before I take the this peaceful solution um Pretty cool. It's pretty crazy that it's coming tomorrow, and I'm uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm a little nervous, you know. As now the reality is all hitting. Every day is just like more and more and more. It gets thicker and thicker and deeper and deeper and more more, more real. Ugh. So anyway, I'll talk to you before that time. <laughs> to you all. Talk to you soon. Bye.